Um, again, I'm going to reiterate this again. <laughs> Don't use photo math. I know it'll work. I know you can do it. But if you um, continue to use photo math, I can assure you that I am figuring out which problems photo math can do well and which problems they can't do well. And I will be putting on the ones that they, they just can't do. So I know that you can use photo math in a lot of the problems today, but that's just the way Delta Math writes it, but I'll be writing my own. So don't use them. That's all I'm going to tell you. Do your best not to use them. Um, so writing out these rules, if I write them out generically, a to the m times a to the n, when we multiply two things, they have to have the same base, so notice a and a is the same. We can take that and we can add the two exponents. Similarly, if we have a to the m divided by a to the n, when you have that division, you subtract those. If you have a to the m, and then you're, that's surrounded by parentheses, and then that's raised to the n power. We multiply those. Now, if we have more than one thing in there, so let's say we have b uh, to the p. And I know I'm just using a lot of letters, but that's because it's better than if I use numbers. Um, a to the m, and then that's raised to the n power. What we do is we bring it through to both of them. So this would be b to the p times n times a to the m times n. So you bring it through to both of those. Um, if you have a to the 0 power, that's always equal to 1. If we have a to the negative m, that's the same thing as 1 over a to the m. Similarly, if we have 1 over a to the negative m, that's the same thing as a to the m. So we can move that around. Um, also, just as a reference, know that if you have x times a times b, you could write that in any order you want. You could write it in, so as long as there's multiplication in between, we can rearrange that order in any order we want. That'll come in handy when we do some examples. All right. Uh, last one, uh, kind of a new one. If you have the square root and, or the, the, the root of a, something like that, that's a to the 1 over n. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we'll use that, that one tomorrow, but having you write it today will only help you when you have to write it again tomorrow or on the next lesson. So let's take something like this. Um, Delta Math is going to ask you to write it without, with, without negative exponents, without parentheses. So remember, if it's on the outside there, we can bring that 3 through to both things. Remember that if they are um, in, they have, if there's negative exponents, we can bring them to the bottom. So we can write this as that. And I don't know, Delta Math might accept that. Delta Math might want you to write that as 9x squared on the bottom, so 3 times 3, so 9x squared. I'm not sure if Delta Math would accept that 3 squared, x squared on the denominator. Um, but they would have wanted you to get rid of the parentheses. So um, take something like this one. If we simplify this, this is 2 to the third, 4 to the, or sorry, v, oops, oops, v to the twelfth, because 4 times 3, divided by 10v to the fifth. Now, if we simplify this a little more, this is 8 through 2 times 2 times 2. This is 10. 
and then it's v to the 12 minus 5 if I showed you all the steps. In the end, we have, um, in simplest form, so we're going to want to write this as 4 fifths if we reduce that fraction, v to the 7th. Um, we can leave it like that. Positive exponents, simplest form. Okay, let's take this next one. Again, simplest form means reduce the fraction. Only, neg only positive exponents means no negative exponents. So if it's a negative exponent, put it in the other part of the fraction. So if we have this, notice that 8 is, is only to the v on the top. So this is 2v to the 8th divided by 2 cubed v to the 15th. Now if we simplify this, um, if I just do one step at a time, we could write it like that, where I do 2 times 2 times 2. Now if, I'm, if I reduce that fraction, that's going to be 1 fourth because 2 goes into 2 1 time, 2 goes into 8 4 times. This is v to the 8 minus 15. Well, if you look at this, this is 1 fourth, but this is v to the negative 7. We don't want to write it that way. So what we're going to write it is we're going to write it as 1 over 4v to the 7th. So we're going to put that negative exponent into the other part of the fraction. Go back and look at those rules. All right. Take something like this one. Just getting a little bit more complicated. Same same question. Uh, might need a need a calculator if you can't raise um, if you don't know what four to the fourth is. But um, so we got negative four to the fourth y to the eighth divided by negative 12 y to the negative 2. Okay, so four to the fourth, if you didn't know how to do four to the fourth, um, you could do it on your on a calculator, um, but four to the fourth is a pretty big number actually. Four to the fourth is 256. So if we have 256, and since it's negative, it multiplies it four times, we have y, let me do this, 256 divided by negative 12, y to the 8 minus negative 2. Remember, if you have division, you subtract those exponents. Um, I'm not sure what delta math is going to have you do on this, uh, but 256 divided by 4 is 64. So they might have you write 64 over 3, because that's, if I divide both 256 and 12 by 3, the negative can go either place. We can put the negative out in front of the fraction. And then this would be y. 8 minus negative 2 is 10. So I think that's what delta math is going to ask you to get it to. Okay. Let's take a look at this next one. Got a couple more variables in there. Doesn't really change what we do on this. So this is 4z to the negative 4, t to the 10th, divided by 3 squared, z to the 6th, t to the negative 8. Okay, We'll keep on going on this. This is 4 over 9. That's a reduced fraction because 3 squared is 9. This is going to be z to the negative 4 minus 6 more t to the 10th minus negative 8. We continue this. 4 ninths. That's as reduced as we can get. This is going to be z to the negative 10th, t 
to the 18th because 10 minus a negative 8 is like adding 8. Now everything's good on this except it would be nice if we were in one fraction. So I'm going to write this as 4 t to the 18th. That's all in the numerator. The 9 is on the denominator. Since that z has a negative exponent, we're going to put that on the other part of the fraction but make it positive. And just using all those rules, using them all at the same time as we go. Okay, so we went from here to there just in case you were wondering. All right, last one here. This is the last example I put on here. So this is 4 squared times z to the 8th divided by 12 z to the 7th. This is 16 over 12, z to the 8 minus 7. 16 over 12 does reduce. 4 goes into both of those. So that's 4 thirds, z to the first. You could write it just as 4 thirds, z. You actually could write this as 4z divided by 3 any of those. I think Delta Math would accept any of those. Um, got some more problems to practice on Delta Math. Good luck. I think you'll do great. Don't use photo math. So say no to photo math. Just say no. It's not going to help you later on.